This video shows you how to connect your Epson printer to a wireless network. In this demonstration, you will be using a USB cable to simplify setup. The cable is only temporary. You'll disconnect it when setup is complete. Before you start, there are a few things you need to check. Do I already have a wireless network? First, make sure you have a network already set up. Your network may include one or more computers or an internet modem connected to a router. Before making a connection, make sure that your router is wireless. Later, you will see how to add your Epson printer by connecting it to the router. You'll also need to know your wireless network's name. This is called the SSID. The SSID was entered into your router when it was first set up. What security settings am I using? If you have wireless security turned on, you'll also need to know your network password. Write down the network name and network password on the Start Here sheet. You'll need them during setup. If you don't have this information, ask the person who set up your network. Now let's set up your Epson printer and add it to your network. When you're done, you'll be able to print wirelessly from this computer. You can add the ability to print from another computer later on. Follow the steps on the Start Here sheet. The Start Here sheet shows you how to physically set up your printer. When you get here, install your printer's software. Insert the CD that came with your printer. Click Install. Follow the instructions on the screen to install the software. This can take several minutes. At this screen, select how you want to connect. Since you want to print wirelessly, select Wireless Connection and click Next. Now select the option to set up the printer for the first time and click Next. Since you'll be using a USB cable, select using temporary USB cable connection. If you don't have a USB cable or are using Mac OS 10.6 or later, you'll need to use the printer buttons instead. Click Next. When you see this screen, plug a USB cable into any available USB port on your computer. Then plug the other end of the cable into the USB port on the back of your printer. Your printer is detected. At this screen, click Next to allow setup to continue. If you see an alert message from your firewall or anti-spyware software, be sure to select Unblock or Allow. When you see this screen, select the name of your wireless network in the list. This is what you wrote down on the Start Here sheet earlier. Click Next. If your network uses wireless security, enter your network password and click Next. When you see a message to remove the USB cable, disconnect it from your computer and printer, then click OK. Click Print Test Page. When the test page prints, you'll know you were successful in setting up a wireless connection. If you want to print from another computer, insert the CD that came with your printer and follow the instructions on the computer screen. When you get to this step, select the printer is already on my wireless network. Follow the rest of the instructions on the computer screen to install the software on your computer. You can repeat this process for any additional computers.